Hello everybody, today I am coming to you with a new sewing project. It's this little v-neck ruffle cami top. It's an easy sewing project, perfect for the summer, it's very feminine, it's very versatile. You can wear it with a casual outfit, but also a more dressy formal one. Maybe you'd find me crazy, but I think it'd make for a very pretty pyjamas. I guess it all depends on what you're wearing it with and what fabric you choose. The fabric shouldn't be too thick, it's gotta be woven and non-stretchy. Poplin would be perfect, chambray, linen, gingham, any sort of satin, silk. The pattern comes in 8 different sizes, so click the link in the description to check it out on my shop. Alright, let's just get started with the sewing steps. I'm first going to show you the pieces of the pattern as per usual. These two are the ruffled parts. This is the back and this is the front with the center going up a bit. Then we've got the upper back cut twice, the upper front cut four times because the top is lined at the bust and the shoulder straps cut in the bias. Notice that I have made notches in the middle of my pieces by just folding them in half. That will help for later to match the pieces together. I'm gonna start with the darts. I'll draw them on my fabric. Then I sew without making securing stitches at the tips. Instead, I'll use the threads to make knots by hand. and I press the seams open. Now all four of my bust parts are done. I'll now connect the bust parts together. I lay one left part to one right part, right sides together. I sew to connect them in the center. I press that middle seam open. Now I'm going to connect the upper fronts to the upper backs. I lay them right sides together, I sew on the sides, I press the seams open, and here's the result. Also my straps. So here, if you have cut the straps in the bias like me, be careful not to pull the fabric when you're sewing, or else it'll make the straps too thin to turn them inside out. Once they're sewed, I trim the seam allowance. I turn them inside out with my loop turner, and I press them down. Now I'm going to pin them on one of the top layers. The best thing to do is to check now if the straps are the right length on you. Remember that the tip of the darts should be at the same level as your nipples. I'm going to sew them in the seam allowances so they don't move. And this is what you get. I'll add the other layer of the fabric. I pin right sides together so the straps are sort of uh, trapped in there and I sew the layers together all along the upper edge. Once it's done, you can cut notches all around the curved parts and get rid of the seam allowances around the straps. Now I'm gonna take my lower parts. I've traced a line two centimeters from the edges to sew the hem later on. I lay the front and the back parts together. I sew on the sides and I'll finish the seams with my overlocker. Now I fold my lower edge twice and I sew my hem. And this is what you get. It is now time to gather this lower part. I'm gonna gather it in four different seams, two at the front, two at the back, so that I spread them more evenly later on. But you can of course make one long gathering seam all around if you prefer, and you want to gather in the seam allowance. I have made a knot at one of the two ends, of each seam so that I can control the degree of gathering more easily. I bring my upper part, the front is before me. I open it so that the right side of the fabric is accessible. I'm gonna pin the gathered part to the upper part, so I have to check where's the front of the gathered piece. Okay, so the front is a bit shorter than the back. I'm gonna pin the middle of the front gathered part to the middle of the bust, the sides as well. 
here I've noticed that my seam allowance is twisted so I'll pull some thread out to free it. I'm gonna spread the gatherings or the gathers, I don't know, so they're spread evenly and the lower part matches the upper part. So here I've pinned just one side because I don't have enough pins and now I'll sew in the seam allowance. And I'll do the same for the other side of camera. I'll spread the gathers evenly and match the lower to the upper part of the top. I'll pin and I'll sew in the seam allowance. Once this is done, this is what you get. All layers are attached together except for the bust lining. I'm showing you a method here in which the seams of the lining are hidden. If you don't want to do this method, you can just sew the upper part to the lower gathered part this way with apparent seam. So let me show you the method with the hidden seams now. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Everything is done except the fact that the inner layer is not joining, is not sewed to the outer layer, right? Inside. It's not connected yet, it's opening. So we want to connect the two fronts together, basically. I'm gonna turn this inside out. And what we want is place the fabric so that this part here is right sides together with this part underneath, right? So I'm going to make a some sort of sausage with my fabric. I take it and I'm gonna bring it to the other side. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but so here it is, this is the middle front and this is the other middle front and I'm gonna match them. So the middle seam is here and here, the middle seam is also here. Then I'm gonna pin like that. Okay, I'll do it again. Hop, hop, hop. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make it go all around. It comes here and we join it to the front 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 where's the front 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 okay it's not here it's not it's here you see the, the middle seam and boom once you're here you have to put everything inside we're going to pin the layers together and we don't want to snatch some of the other layers, right? So we have the dart here. It's easy to match it with the opposite dart. You need to pull a bit. So I'm gonna sew all along where I put the pins, then I'm gonna remove the pins and then I'm gonna pull so that it frees some more edges. leave an opening like four centimeters so I have left the opening here I'm gonna keep on doing the same thing I pull and I'm gonna close this okay this is what we have where's the beginning where's the end I don't know anymore we got the opening here so I'm gonna be Extracting everything slowly. We don't want to rip the seams This is the front right side of the fabric here and this is The 
this is the wrong side of the fabric. And now we've got this opening to sew by hand. Okay, and that's it. The hole has been closed, it was here. I have pressed the seams down. Now this is what we have. All right, this is the final result of the top. I made the video fairly detailed, but it's really an easy project. I hope you liked it and I'll see you soon for another video. Kiss. <laughs>